Hi, I'm Les Vegas. In this video, we're comparing three mix options for my upcoming single, Work It Out, using the Slate VSX headphone system. Work, work it out. The first mix was done entirely in the box, and the other two used outboard analog hardware, including the Neve 5057 Orbit Summing Mixer and the SSLG bus compressor in the last stages of the mix. The legendary Howie Weinberg will be mastering the record at a studio in Los Angeles, but before I send it off, I need your help choosing the final mix. To properly compare the mixes in different rooms, speakers, and headphone models, you must be listening on a pair of Slate VSX headphones. If you're interested in hearing the mixes without Slate VSX, please listen and leave your comments on my other video at the link above. The first mix you'll hear, I did completely in the box with the Brainworks BX console SSL 4000E providing the group summing. All groups were then sent to the mix bus, where I used the SSL native bus compressor 2, followed by the Slate Virtual Tape Machines with the 2-inch 16-track machine, FG9 tape, and set to 30 IPS. On the master, I used a Weiss MM1 Mastering Maximizer at 50%, and with the style set to wide, just to get a little of that world-class Weiss Magic Mojo and a bit of extra width on the overall mix. I didn't use the limiter at all and actually backed down the output gain by 1 dB to match where my levels were coming off the mix bus. In the analog mixes, I replaced all instances of the BX console SSL 4000E with the Rupert Neve Designs 5057 Orbit Summing Mixer on all groups, and the SSL Native Bus Compressor 2 plugin was replaced with my SSL G Comp 500 series stereo bus compressor. So, if you ever thought to yourself, if I just had analog summing and a real SSL G bus compressor, my mixes would finally sound totally pro. Well, now you'll know for sure what they can do for a mix after watching this video. I'll be playing a few bars from verse 2 and the chorus to compare. I'll start with the mix done in the box, followed by the mix using analog summing and mix bus compression. On the summing mixer, I used the main outputs not pushing the levels and in its most transparent mode with no silk red or blue texture engaged, then out to the mix bus where I applied a bit of gentle bus compression, just kissing the needle until it was barely moving with the attack set to 30 release at 0.1, ratio at 2, and the high pass filter set to 185 Hz. This got me precisely 1.4 decibels of gain reduction. For the in the box mix, I made sure to use the same settings on the SSL native bus compressor 2 and adjusted the threshold until I got exactly the same amount of gain reduction. Mix 3 is the same as option 2, but with the silk red texture engaged on the Neve 5057. All three mixes were precisely level matched using integrated luffs from beginning to end to ensure no mixes had an unfair advantage in loudness and we could properly compare what the analog summing and mix bus compression is doing to the mix. When listening to the mixes in the car or the club models, besides focusing on the technical details, try to keep vibe in mind too. What I like to do is close my eyes and imagine myself on a first date. You walk into the club and this tune you never heard before is playing. Which mix makes you feel like, yeah, all right, this place is cool. Yeah, she's going to love this. You know what I'm saying. Which mix is going to set the right mood anywhere you might be and make for a memorable night? All right, let's do it. Don't think we can work it out. Hey. Yes, we can. Yes, yes, we can. Don't think we can work it out. Hey. Yes, we can. Yes, yes, we can. Don't think we can work it out. Hey. Yes, we can. Yes, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Don't think 
Which mix should I use? Is it worth 5K for the analog summing and mix bus compressor? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Let's move to the work of that.